everyone, it's Crystal here with DoingItDIYStyle.com um, and today we are doing a picture plate. Um, and what that is, is, well, just to give you a little background, my mother-in-law's birthday is coming up and we usually like to give her gifts which um, involve my daughter. You know, she loves my daughter. She is her first grandchild um, and you know, she adores her. So, we like to do anything with gift giving um, to her that involves my child. So, her birthday is coming up, like I said, and um, as her gift, we are going to make her a picture plate. This is just a plate that I got from the dollar store, a glass plate. And I'm going to be using some pictures of her and my daughter and just my daughter. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to mod podge them to the plate. Um, we're going to use some glitter glue that I got from the craft store. I have um, black and red and gold. Um, and then we're going to seal it with Mod Podge. And I have um, just a matte Mod Podge. Uh, they do come in other finishes, I guess you could call it. Um, just a regular plain Mod Podge. I think there's a a shiny one and but this is just a matte one and I've had this for so long that I'm almost out of it completely I hope I don't run out today <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm all set up here and I'm ready to go so let's go okay everyone so um, I have some pictures here of my mother-in-law and my daughter and just some of my daughter that we're going to paint um, glue onto this plate and they don't have to be perfect I just want to get the overall feeling uh, of the picture and because it's clear you know it doesn't really make a difference if it's uh, all that perfect or not and I have some black and white photos and some picture um, some colored photos and they're actually the same photos that we just turned into um, black and white just to make it a little bit um, easier I'm just putting the pictures around here and like I said they don't have to be perfect you just line them up how you think you'd want them to look. And then this will go in the middle. Just like that. Okay, so let's see how this works out. So let's start here, this picture. Just... Munch Podge is like really good at when I first bought it I didn't know I didn't have any idea what it was but I have used it um, on everything and I bought it for um, my baby shower I was making some crafts for my baby shower and just to give you an idea my daughter is two now so that's how long I've been using it. And if you have some overhang, it's okay, we're just going to cut it off later. This is a really nice, inexpensive gift. Um, if you you know, want to give someone a gift but you don't have a lot of money to spend, this is the perfect gift. The plate was a dollar. Um, if you have already Mod Podge in the house, that's awesome. Um, if you're a crafter. And we usually, you know, do the normal birthday stuff. We take her out to dinner and, um, you know, have have her come over and just spend time with our daughter. 
but I usually like to give her something to because I we're going to use this as a sealer as well and I have uh, the matte uh, Mod Podge the finish on it is going to be different than what it is now right now you know it's glass it's shiny uh, once we do the the Mod Podge it's going to be uh, just a big matte plate and if your kids are older this is a great project for you to get your kids on you know, you cut out the pictures and just let them put it together. Make sure you get all the bubbles out and that your pictures are flat. And these are printed on regular paper, so you don't need any special paper. And then this picture I cut out with the um, special design scissor. So you just have a little special touch in the middle on the main picture. <clears throat> and I've done one of these um, with a vase, or with uh, um, a uh, clay pot. You, know, you put the pictures around the clay pot and um, just mod podge it. <coughs> so now what I'm going to do is use the glitter glue and write a little birthday message on there for her. Now I am not, I don't have the greatest um, handwriting in the world. I think it's actually just decent compared to okay. <laughs> um, so I'm going to try my best making this look good. And this glitter glue, it comes out bubbly, but then it dries flat. So you also want to make sure that you have enough glitter in the glue because it dries flat the glue becomes clear and then you have empty spots so because this is the top of my plate here center I'm going to start here and then in gold we'll put grandma I'll just use the black to kind of fill in uh, the spaces, kind of decorative design, I guess. So let's just come out here. Also, what you don't want to do is you don't want to rest it on the um, the item that you are decorating because you don't want it to be um, you don't want to have that line from the tip you just want to be just above it okay so I'm gonna let this dry the Mod Podge usually takes a few minutes to dry but the glitter glue usually takes a few hours. And you'll know when it's dry when it's flat. And just looks like you just sprinkled glitter over, you know, glue. And it's hardened. Um, but then I'll wait for this to dry. And then we'll come back and we'll put the Mod Podge over it. And make it a, uh, a done deal. Okay, guys. I have... Um, let the glitter glue dry overnight and then I am just going to paint the Mod Podge over it to seal it in. And you may, after this dries, still be able to feel the, um, 
put paper, and that's fine. Gives it that little homemade feeling. dried on the plate and here it is. It is a nice inexpensive decorative plate. You can see in the back it is a clear plate so you will be able to see all of the paper and uh, any of the spaces in the back but like I said it is supposed to be decorative so hopefully they have it up against a wall or something where you don't see the back. <laughs> But it is very nice and inexpensive. The plate, um, pro this plate project in total cost me only a dollar to make. I already had the Mod Podge. I just printed out the pictures on simple white printer paper, and I had the um, the glitter glue already. So it only cost me a dollar. Very inexpensive, thoughtful gift for you to give. Um, your grandparents, your parents, um, even if you don't have children. Um, maybe you just got married um, and you want to have all of your wedding photos in a, on a nice little plate. It's a good um, project to do just in general. Um, but yeah, there we have it. Alright guys, well this is... Um, a simple project to make and I just want to thank you guys for coming and, and looking at this with me and learning about it with me and I will see you guys next time so thanks for learning with me